Okay. Good enough. Hi guys, sorry if I don't look as good as I usually do in my videos. Um, I actually look really good. I don't even care what y'all say, fuck the haters. All right, never doubt yourself, have self-confidence. <laughs> I got a new phone, so I, I'm hoping my uh, video qualities aren't SD anymore. I've been wanting to make this video for over a year now. As you know, I was on Accutane. My skin looked... <laughs> very bad. So this is a close-up of my skin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am so grateful, and I will never take my clear skin for granted ever again. Because, man... Oh man, I used to wash my face with water and then sometimes I didn't even put a moisturizer on, so... DISGUSTING! Yeah. So all the skincare information I may give in this video is from a reliable source or at least a source that I trust. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a professional, I'm not an esthetician, but I do obtain my information from people who work in those fields. I can even link some of the people that I personally love watching down below. So I take the knowledge and the learning of skincare really seriously, like I do my research. So you guys can trust me, but always look at a secondary source to make sure I'm not stating some bullshit. I also don't want to be spreading false information about skincare because that goes around so often. Like the whole lemon DIY, don't even get me started. Don't. So I'm oily around this area, sometimes here, and then around this area, but I'm like normal everywhere else. So normally if I have sunscreen on or makeup on, I will go in with a cleansing balm. Personally, I like cleansing balms a little more than cleansing oils. Makeup wipes? No. Keep that shit out of your skincare routine, okay? I don't want to see it. Do you want wrinkles? Do you want to age fast? Then keep using makeup wipes. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Alrighty, we're just gonna close that up. Mind your business, alright? So I'm gonna go in with, oh, but wait, wash your damn hands first. That's just me smiling into the mirror because I'm cute. Anyways, I'm gonna dab in my face. I usually don't do it like this, just trying to be cute for the video. So I gently work this into the skin. Yes, do not forget that neck. My neck, my back, like my, oh, oh. And finally, pat your face dry. I better not come to find out that you dragging your skin. So my next step is toning. Um, it's not necessary, but I like starting off with a damp face. So my other products will sink into the skin better. Now, this may be a little controversial. I know how this will look. I know how this will sound. I use a witch hazel toner. Don't come for me. Just hear me out. Look into this more, but from what I read a few weeks ago, witch hazel is derived from, um, I think it's called tannin. And that has like similar effects to alcohol and can be sensitizing to the skin but i really like this toner i do don't look at me like that okay i make sure to use this with hydrating ingredients i don't use this uh with my vitamin c or when i use lactic acid this so next to no but the first ingredient is glycerin and then witch hazel so I'm glad that they have glycerin. Downside has fragrance and citric acid, but those are both at the bottom of the list, so I'm not too concerned. I was like, it's over. It's canceled. No longer will we buy this product. No longer will this be included in our skincare routine. But then I bought another bottle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's get into it. I know this may make you cringe. Hiram, if you're watching, which you're not, this will make you cringe. I like, um padding in my toners. I don't like the cotton pad uh, method. I'm telling you, if you're on Accutane or you're planning on going on Accutane, watch that video because I rarely felt my dry skin. Drier skin? What? I rarely felt my dry skin. That's how well I took care of my skin on Accutane. Good for me. I use this lactic acid. Not every day though, now that I started using a pure vitamin C. I noticed if I use this every day with the vitamin C, I broke out, so I stopped. And I'm not breaking out that much anymore. A 
Okay, I know I said I don't use lactic acid and witch hazel at the same time, but I will only exfoliate my nose. She's problematic, okay? I've learned that my nose needs this every day. Not the rest of my face, just my nose. So I might stop buying this product because there was an ingredient in it. I might put the ingredient list somewhere in here later, but it's a sensitized ingredient um, and it's like at the top, like the very top. I'm gonna stop using this, but I gotta finish it, all right? I do use this, but I mix it with this. It's a little um, Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum, and it feels really nice on your skin. It gives it a nice glow. Yeah, so my main focus at night is hydration. Don't forget the neck. Because your face is going to be all youthful and glowy and plump, but your neck is going to be all wrinkly and dry and crusty. Right? Yeah, so that feels amazing on the skin. Amazing. And my final step, yeah, my final step for my night skin routine is this. It's a $100 moisturizer. Fuck me. I didn't just buy this because someone recommended it. I actually used the, uh, ew. I actually got it as like a birthday gift from Sephora and I really liked it. So I bought the full size. Yeah. Now I wasn't planning on using a retinol till I turned 24 because listen up kids my age. Listen up. Anti-aging starts now. You guys need to be doing that now instead of when you're 60. Guys, I look back at my previous video. I used retinol and then I used glycolic acid. I didn't even know what glycolic acid was. I didn't even know how to pronounce it. I didn't wear SPF. I didn't even use a moisturizer. I just put it on my chin. What is that? Seal it in. So next I'm going to be doing my morning routine. So we're going to switch to the morning. Switch to the morning. All right, here's me just showing you some water for some random as reason. So yeah, I just rinse my face with water. Don't really use soap, but sometimes I'll use CeraVe, you know? Good morning. <clears throat> so I just washed my face. Um, apologies in advance for any background noise, all right? All right, we're just gonna dive into it. First things first as always. So I started using a vitamin C serum because my acne left scars. And I looked at my face the other day and I'm like, damn, the scars are no more. It's amazing. So I use this one. What I like about this is that it has neosinamide in it, so that helps with brightening. And vitamin C. I like putting this under my eye, but not directly because eye creams are kind of useless, even though I'm about to go in with an eye cream anyways. Oh shit. We forgot the most important step. Shea butter, baby. <laughs> so eye creams are pretty useless unless they have a treatment in it. The only reason I like using this in the daytime is because I like how it makes mad eyes look. You can basically just use your moisturizer. Straight up. Dead ass. Dead ass. Okay, getting off topic. My dark circles are genetic, I'm pretty sure, but if you want to get rid of dark circles, sleep. I'll actually list a video down below um, talking about dark circles. If you guys want to watch it, you can. So not a lot of Indian women struggle with dark circles. And honestly, people of color in general, discoloration, you know, pigmentation. By the way, these glasses... Um, I'm not blind, they're just blue light glasses, so my eyes don't feel strained, period. But, but you gotta embrace that shit, okay? If they're genetic, they're really hard to get rid of, right? So all you can do is sleep, which I don't. There's obviously more you can do to combat dark circles other than sleep. So like my voice is a little bit raspy because I inhaled Offspray the other day and yeah, it was not fun, but it's like raspy, hot, or okay. All right, all right. Okay, so next thing I do is take my moisturizer, the one that I use at night, all right. Sometimes I'll do this at night or sometimes I'll do it in the day. Um, I'll put hyaluronic acid into the mixture. Now, hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so it pulls the moisture from the environment. So I found a lot of 
So I found a lot of Korean skincare on Amazon. Fuck Jeff Bezos. And I'm really excited because I want to try some stuff like AHA toners, SPFs. Speaking of which. This ain't no jump. This ain't no jump. <gasps> Where is it? Okay. Brown people. We've been lied to, okay? All our lives they said, your brown melanin will protect you. You don't need sunscreen. <sighs> what? No, you do need sunscreen. It's very important, even on cloudy days. So this one is broad spectrum, but in Korea they do a PA with plus plus plus. Basically means broad spectrum. You don't need an intricate skincare routine. All you need is to cleanse your face, moisturize, SPF, and you're good to go. You know, you can exfoliate once in a while, but not with harsh physical ones. I forbid. So that's basically it. That's all. I like to keep my skincare simple. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. If you want to see more skincare videos. Actually, I don't even care. I'm just going to post a bunch of skincare videos if I want to. I will see you guys next time. But wait, you'll see me. Bye. Bye.